morning guys um, we've just had kind of a relaxing morning um, it's almost actually like lunchtime and after lunchtime and well is about to go take a nap but um, we've just been kind of relaxing I've been trying to play with the kids a little bit when we have busy weeks it can get hard to like spend time with them because there's a lot that piles up and that needs to be done so far this week has seemed really busy so um, I just tried to play with them this morning to spend some time with them and it got me thinking um, like how do other moms out there and I'd like to hear below so leave a comment but how do you guys divide up your time between um, you know playing with your kids spending time doing things with them especially like young preschool age kids and then cleaning and getting getting what you need done I know like as a stay-at-home mom part of my job is to make sure that the house is clean and and things like that and, and I don't mean clean like just picked up because we always try to pick up if Judah knows how to clean up and Lola's learning. But I mean like the vacuuming and cleaning the floors, like things like that. Um, everyone in our house just feels better when the house is clean like that. It feels fresh. And so how do you guys manage to divide your time between spending time with them and doing that deep cleaning? I know for me I just try to do a little bit of cleaning, spend some time with them. But I'd like to hear how other people do it. So... We're just kind of relaxing until, until it's time for nap. What are you guys doing? We're just playing ball. Just playing ball? Yeah. Have you had a good day so far? Yeah. What do you want to do when she takes a nap? Oh, how about Jake game? The Jake game? The Jake board game? Yeah. Okay, when Lola naps, we'll do that, okay? Okay. I'm so excited to play that game. Me too, buddy. Are you ready for a nap? Can you say hi to everyone? Lola, say hi. <laughs> okay, so we just came outside. Sorry, it's really bright. We just came outside, and um, our flowers in the front have been blooming each day, and Judah loves watching them. Judah, what do you think of the flowers today? It looks so cool. It looks so cool? Mm -hmm. Did they really bloom a lot? Mm -hmm. Look how open and big these ones are. And look at this. Thing. Yeah. What is that? That's all part of the flower. Look at look at how big they are. Cool. Almost Can as I big as your face. It? Can I touch it? Yeah. What's it feel like? It feels like so bumpy. So bumpy? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them, huh? Oh yeah. They're starting to Whoa, look at this one came down. Yeah. They're Ooh, very look, pretty. Look at ants. Yeah, there's still ants on them, huh? Yeah. That's so pretty. And look at all of this, too. I know. That's so cute. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. What are we doing? We're just playing Jake game. The Jake game? Uh-huh. Do you like this game? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, you want to open it up? Yeah, there you go. How many did you get? One. One. Okay, so move your guy one. Good job. Now you have to use the sword and try to get one off. Hello. Okay, those go to the crocodile. All right, keep trying. Judah, that was the very first turn. Did you knock off hook? Yeah. All right, well, let's set it up and we'll try again. Mom, next time you will lose. Next time I'm going to lose? Yeah. So are you throwing the gauntlet down? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready to play again? Yep. Where's the spinner? No, oh, there it is. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you gotta use the fishing pole. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good job. Okay, use this one and okay. see if you can get this off. And don't knock off hook, okay? I won't. I can't. Oh, <laughs> good job. All right, well, we got all of them off. How many did you get? One, two, three, four. How many did I get? One. One, two, three, four. We tied. 
Good job, buddy. I had we both won. We both won. Nice. I had fun playing with you. Yeah. Hey, Judah. Hmm. What do we call this? One by four. <laughs> four by four. Mm -hmm. You say four by four? One by four. Four by four. Four by four. We call this four by four because I don't know if you can see what's going on here. <laughs> All four of us are here on the couch. <laughs> Jeremy, Lola, me, and Judah. And we do not go <laughs> We do not have an extra large couch. <laughs> this is a normal, a normal small couch, and all four of us manage. <laughs> oh, there, Jeremy. Hey. <laughs> we have this whole house, and somehow all four of us manage to be in one small area. So we call that four by four. So, this is what we're doing. Oh. All four of us are in about four square feet. <laughs> I'm armpit. Armpit. Oh. <laughs> this looks like a good time to go. So I think you have seen these beautiful flowers that we have in our yard. And uh, I love seeing them. And not only are they just beautiful and pink and bright and colorful and just kind of cheer me up when I look at them, they kind of also remind me of God's promises. Uh, when Jesus came to this earth and he's talking about uh, people worrying about what tomorrow is going to bring and if God's going to provide for them, he uses this example about how he clothes the lilies of the field and how one day they're here and the next day they're gone. And So how much more is he going to make sure that we're provided for and taken care of? So when I see flowers like this, I'm just amazed about how beautiful they are and I'm reminded of God's promises. But these flowers particularly uh, really draw my attention because if you notice yeah that is a whole bunch of ants walking around the bulb of this flower and what they do is these ants they eat away at the skin and so it allows the flower to be able to open and create something beautiful and what I love about that is that uh, these ants are typically something that we try to kill and we exterminate and these are uh, not very, we don't have ants as pet usually. Um, and so we would look at that and go, oh, that's gross. And, and this is something kind of disgusting that's happening. Uh, but it's so neat that sometimes God allows these metaphorical ants to crawl all over our situation so that something beautiful can come about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, duck! Oh. Hey, say hi. We're just running through the woods. All right, we're looking for Bowser. Where is he, Princess Peach? There he is! Let's go get him! We're going! Fireball! Let's go get him! Mario! <laughs> Sometimes we just play real life Mario. What do you want to be? Oh, I'm Bowser? Yeah. Do I look like Bowser? Yeah, okay. I guess I'm Bowser this time. Okay, buddy, we're getting all ready for bed? Yep. Yep. Are you in your jammies? Yep. You know what your shirt says? Mm-hmm. It says, hunk. Hunk? Yeah. That means you're a cutie. Oh. Are you a cutie? Yeah, you are. What was your favorite part of today? Getting a lollipop and eating it. Getting a lollipop and eating it? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give a thumbs up. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.